Scorpio. Overall energy for your person. Slippery cards. These are new. It's a new deck, so they're slip really slippery. All right. Into you. Good chemistry. Great vibes. Positive. Looking you up. Researching you. Studying you. Getting into you. Ooh, somebody. Somebody has the hots for you. Uh, jackpot, winning money, got rich, uh, inheritance or unexpected money, or this person could be like your jackpot here. Uh, why wants you back? Is this an X looking you up to see what you're up to? <laughs> I thought it was going to be new. All right. So I feel like Scorpio, this person, they're watching you. They're looking you up, seeing what you're up to. But it could be a return from the past. Let's see. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Current energy. Current situation. Scorpio's reconciliation. Oh, right out the gate. <laughs> you guys are gonna yell at me. I can't handle what energies come out. All right. I'm just the reader. I can't. I can't control it. Um, keep in mind, Scorpio, it is a general reading. When I say your person's energy, it can actually be yours. It can be flip-flopped and reversed, okay? Same to you, Crosswatcher. Also, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. And if you are watching this later, I am clipping these from the live stream and reposting them, okay? Yeah, there was some kind of painful ending here. Uh, we have the lovers with reconciliation, backstab, betrayal, painful ending. And I feel like this person wants to have some kind of a conversation or heart-to-heart -heart talk with you. All right. We have Gemini and Sagittarius energy and a lot of confusion, or maybe you felt this person kept you as an option and was a little bit of a player, a little wishy-washy, in and out, actions not matching words. And now they're stressing. Now they're heavily thinking about you, Scorp. The, uh, I feel like there was maybe a third party situation. Third party can be person, place, or thing. Could be addiction, could be work, could be friends, could be family. But let's see what got in the way, what's blocking this, what interfered. We have Leo, King of Wands in reverse, Leo, Aries, Sag in reverse. The wheel, things became stagnant, stuck, not moving forward. Somebody was a player. Somebody, somebody was being a player. Somebody wasn't being honest. They weren't being faithful, truthful. And now I feel like, yeah, they want regret or they have regrets and they want, they want to work this out. I mean, Scorpio, you are kind of, you got that magnetic attraction. This person wasn't ready to take a leap of faith. So it's almost like it was like one of those situationships. It's kind of what I'm seeing here. Maybe you weren't on the same page. Maybe it was a relationship and this person stepped out. But I'm seeing more of like maybe this person, you know, said to you, even if it was like a two year long thing, you know, I don't want commitment. I don't want a relationship, but made you feel like you were in one. There was some kind of like deceptive energy with that going on here. Yep. There's that regret. Now they regret it. I feel like you pulled your energy back. You said, nope, sorry, bye. I'm done. I'm not going to do this. And now they're regretting it and they want you back. How are they feeling about you? How are they feeling about you? They either feel like you're very confused or you have other options. That could have been what also scared them or... <laughs> I think they have an awareness that they hurt you. I do. I think they have an awareness that they hurt you. And now you're kind of being this Libra energy, cold, cut off. The stinger came out. Oh, you're, yep. You're rejecting them, ignoring them. They don't like it. 
So that's why they feel maybe you have other options or you're going in a different direction. They feel like you're getting attention from other people. Oh. I don't always take ones from the floor, but I feel like I have to with this one. The Star and Two of Cups. They're feeling a very strong bond with you and seeing you now as a wish fulfillment. I feel like this person had a wake-up call, a slap in the face when you pulled your energy back, and now they're looking at it in a different light. Ace of Cups. Wait, Scorpio, I love you. I want to heal this. I want to work this out. They know that you gave them love, too. Like, you cared about this this person. Scorpio. They may come towards you, like, all in. I don't know if you're going to allow that, but this is, you know, how they feel. Like, they want to level this up. Maybe make it real when before they weren't making it real. Hmm. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Oh, things are going to move into calmer waters towards long-term happiness and putting a burden down. But then I have abandonment. So it makes me wonder, are you not going to give this person a chance and you're just moving on to calmer waters and this person was the burden and you're putting that down? It's kind of how I'm feeling. For some of you. I kind of feel like this is so unexpected to you. Like you're not... You're not feeling like this person's going to come in this way or come back to you this way, but they are. And it's almost like unexpected or shocking. It's like the tables turn too. Like you want to move slow now before you wanted a relationship or wanted more from this person. And now it's like you're, you're moving slow. They have a lot of regrets for the way they acted. I don't know. Just go with the sounds. I have no idea. Um, I think, yeah, I don't. If you do forgive this person, it's going to be like a journey. You're, this person is going to have to prove themselves and make it up to you. I think they come in real quick and kind of shock you because you're not expecting it, which also makes you feel like, well, I don't know what to do right now. I'm, I don't know. I feel like you really do care about this person, but what they did wasn't right. So can you forgive them? So uh, you're on the fence. This person's coming in and you're on the fence, you know, on what to do. The potential's here. What does this person want to say? It's hard to regain Scorpio's trust. You know what I mean? Well, for anybody, really, it's hard. Trust is broken. It's very hard to to repair that what does this person want to say will you listen see they want to talk there's so many things I want to say to you but will you hear me all the way out will you believe me <laughs> no one compares that's what I'm saying they thought the grass was greener mm -mm. nope no one compares no matter how many people I've met and experiences I have there's no one who compares to you yeah grass ain't greener Feeling lost. I'm trying to make this work, but I feel so lost. I don't know what to do or say anymore. And it's easier to just stay silent. So that's why I feel like it's, they come in out of nowhere and throws you completely off. All right, let's get some numbers. Numbers could be birthday, anniversary, an age, an angel number, days, weeks, months, years. All right. 4, 8, 10, 11. So 48, 84, 10, 11, April, August, October, November. Zodiac signs you could be dealing with. 
strong placements in their chart or something could happen during that season. Like Scorpio season. We got double Scorpio, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Double Scorpio, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. All right, letters could be first, middle, last name, initials. Could spell a name, could spell a word of significance, place it where you see fit. All right. We have H, S, J, W, T, G, Q, X, E. And I have A, L, P, O, looking up at me. A, L, P, O, S, H, G, T, J, W, X, E, Q. All right. Scorpio, that is what I have for you this week.